Hi everyone! Welcome back! So excited. This is week six and we're on our fifth fruit of the spirit. We've already learned about love, loving others. We've learned about joy, being able to have joy inside of our hearts. Love, joy, peace. We've learned about peace. We've learned about being able to settle down and have quiet in our hearts. Love, joy, peace, patience. We've learned about patience, being able to wait. You guys waited on me. You guys were so sweet. And then love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Now we're gonna learn about kindness this time. Now, today we're going to learn about the Good Samaritan. Now, I bet you could almost tell the story from heart, couldn't you? I bet you almost could. But I'm gonna tell you anyway, because I love telling stories. All right, so now this is a parable. Remember that this is a, so a parable is a story that teaches us something, all right? So this is not something that actually happened. Jesus told this parable, okay? All right, so what? There was a man and, his, and he was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. On the way, some bad guys came in and beat him up. They beat him up and they took his clothes and they hurt him and they left him. Can you believe it? That was so mean of them. They left him and they're like, Meh. Oh well. Well, along came a priest. Now, a priest is like a pastor, right? Yeah. Well, along came a priest and he was walking and he saw this man on the road. He said, hmm, I can't help him. And he walked on the other side of the road and he passed him. Now, that wasn't very nice. I don't think Pastor Garen would do that. Do you? I don't think so. I think he'd stop and help the guy, right? Probably. Anyway, so he passed him. I can't believe it. He left a hurting man. Well, then, later on, a Levite came, and he was walking on the road. And a Levite is similar to a pastor. Okay. He, he was somebody who knew what the Bible said. And he was, like, he was, like, a really smart guy. Like, he had a whole bunch of knowledge. Okay. And he came walking on the road, and he saw this, he saw this man, and he's like, you know what? I don't want to get my clothes dirty. I can't help him. And he went to the other side of the road and he passed right by him. Oh, that's two people. Those people weren't very kind, were they? They were not kind at all. So, well, I bet this man, he's like, I just want somebody to help me. I bet you'd feel that way, wouldn't you? Well, then along came a Samaritan. And the Samaritan, he was walking on the road and he saw the guy. He's like, oh no, somebody has to help this guy. He's in trouble. If I don't help him, he might not live. He was hurt so bad. So he took him and he gave him some band-aids and he put him on his donkey. That was very nice of him, wasn't it? He didn't, he didn't make him walk. He put him on his own donkey. So he put him on his donkey and then he took him to the closest town. He took him to the closest hotel and he said, all right guys, here's what I need you to do. I need you to take care of him for me. I'm gonna give you some money and if if his, if his, if what he needs costs more than this, then I'm gonna come back and I'll pay you more, okay? And they did. That Samaritan was so kind. Nobody saw what he did, other than the hotel people. They didn't know, but they didn't know that this guy had just been hurt on the road. 
they didn't know any of that. So that is what kindness is. It's when it's whenever we do nice things for people, even if nobody sees us and nobody knows. The Samaritan didn't know this guy who just got beat up. He didn't know him. He just said, oh, somebody's hurt. I need to help them. And that's what he did. That is kindness. All right. So let's think about this. Are you a kind person? Are you showing the fruit of kindness? Remember, this is something that whenever it, it's, it's whenever it's in our hearts. It's not just something that we do. Meh. Yeah, sometimes I'll just like, sometimes I'll give my friend my cookies. Or sometimes I'll give, I don't know. I don't know. What are some, whatever your, some of your things? What do you do? I want you to be thinking about that this week, okay? Yeah, I really can't think right now. Anyway, all right, so here we go. All right, so we have learned about kindness. We've learned about the Good Samaritan and how kindness is doing things for other people, even if we never get applause, even if we never get recognized, even if we never get a medal, just being kind, right? Right. All right, so that is our story. Now we're going to move on to our craft. Craft first. This is our craft, everyone. So you're going to get this. This will not be colored. This will not be colored yet. Okay. You have to color it. So you will be coloring it. And then, huh, cool. Sorry. And then you see these dots? Those are band-aids. You have to give this, you have to give the man some band-aids. He needs some help. He's got some boo-boos. Give him all of the band-aids. Don't put any on your own fingers. Give them all to the guy who needs them, okay? He needs them. This is the Samaritan. This is the nice guy. See, he's putting on the he's putting on the band-aid around his head already. Then we're gonna give him some more band-aids after we color him, okay? Color him first, and then give him the band-aids. Color, then band-aids, all right? All right, there is your Samaritan. Beautiful, yes. You don't have to color him the same exact way that I did, but I think mine looks pretty cool. Anyway, all right, that is our craft for Sunday. And now we will go over our song. We're so excited. All right, so far we have the Fruit of the Spirit, not coconut. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. Normal voice. And then now we're on the fruit of the spirit's not cherry. That one you have to do super, super high. As high as you can get your voice to sound. You have to go cherry. All right. Now, please, please, please do not yell. No yelling. There's no need to yell. But we can do a high pitched voice. Just like you did the watermelon really low. Now you can do the cherry really high. Okay? No yelling though. All right. So that one goes like this. The fruit of the spirit's not cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not cherry. If you want to be a cherry, you might as well hear you can't be a fruit of the spirit. All right? That one's pretty easy, right? We just go really, really high with our sounds. All right. Why don't we do a, no. We have one more first to learn and then we'll go over the whole thing. <gasps> wow. So we should almost know the entire song, okay? That's how far we are. We should almost know the entire, entire song. If you don't, if you're not close to knowing the entire song, please, please, please. Watch the video down below, down in the link. Mr. Richmond has been fantastic and he always puts that on. So please, please, please watch it, okay? All right, 
we are going to pray. We have went over our song. We have had our lesson. And we have done our craft. So now it is time to pray. All right. So let's bow our head and close our eyes. And we're going to pray. And then we'll be done. Okay. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for teaching us and telling us a story about the Good Samaritan. Help us to remember and help us to be thinking and talking to you about whether or not we have kindness in our hearts. You want us to show kindness. Help us to show kindness. And if we're not, then help us to figure out why. What needs to change in our hearts so that we can show kindness to others? Help us to do that this week. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Have a great week. I will see you on Sunday.